Fresh off a night of celebrating first round selections for James Wiseman and Precious Achua in the NBA draft, it was back to business for Penny Hardaway. After all, the season is just six days away and the Tigers do not have a finalized schedule, a third assistant coach, or clarity on several key players. Though Thursday, Hardaway made it perfectly clear where his redshirt junior forward, Isaiah Stokes, stands. Isaiah Stokes was suspended a year. Um, and he's not, he's, not, he's not here this season. Hardaway cited personal reasons for Stokes' one-year ban. Just last week, Penny said he anticipated having the former Lausanne standout back in a couple of days. Another Lynx product, five-star freshman Musa Cisse has been cleared for practice for some time, but has not yet received a full green light for game action from the NCAA. I guess they're, they're still looking at a couple other things, but we feel like it's coming to an end and that it'll be, they'll be prepared to, uh, Musa will be prepared to go by the first game for sure. The Tigers are still waiting on an immediate eligibility waiver for Evansville transfer DeAndre Williams. The waiver needs approval from Purple Aces athletic director Mark Spencer. We put the waiver in, now it's in their hands, and hopefully the Evansville AD you know, does the right thing by DeAndre because all the ADs around the country are doing the same thing when it comes to these kids because of COVID. A lot of uncertainty all across the college basketball landscape amid COVID-19, but as of right now, the Tigers are still scheduled to tip off their season next Wednesday in the Crossover Classic in Sioux Falls, South Dakota against St. Mary's. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.